Are you guys aware of the fact that we're about to lose the northern white rhino? So let's go and dart the rhino. What we're going to do now is he's going to go in. You can actually join him to do the darting. And uh, once the rhino is um, sort of half docile, and then we will lie him down so that we can work in the shade. In the shade. And then we'll come in, set up the, the mobile lab right next to the rhino. Guys, this is so exciting. We are about to tranquilize a white rhino female right now with this dart. It might look a little bit brutal because of the big needle. But keep in mind guys, the skin of a white rhino can get as thick as 5 centimeters. So they need a needle like this to be able to enter that skin and release the tranquilizer to make that animal fall asleep. So we are just waiting right now um, for the tranquilizer to kick in, which is the reason why we have to stabilize her head. And once she starts moving a little bit too much, we just try to push the horn and the head against that tree to just stabilize it. Yo guys, this is crazy. 90% of the tools which you guys will see today, which we are working with, are custom made by Dr. De La Rey. So this is basically a pump they use in boats. And uh, so the idea is we need the rectum to be flushed out. And all the, all the bacteria or juices. whatever is there will be flushed We're out now so that you have now. a clean foundation to work on. Yeah. These guys are game changers. So let me explain you guys that procedure a little bit more into detail so that you can understand it. Now, first of all, Dr. De La Rey is using this machine to extract the eggs out of the rhino. Now, these eggs will be sent over to a laboratory where they inject it with male sperms of a male rhino. Now, once they achieve to create that embryo, they will take that embryo and put it back into a southern white rhino, which will carry out that baby. And this baby will be a northern white rhino. So actually like this, we achieved to save the species of the northern white rhino by reproducing them one at a time. I want to use this opportunity to spread a little bit more knowledge about the white rhino, which is the largest rhino species of all the rhinos. Now check out that physics. The body length can get up to four meters and the weight is more than two tons. This is extremely. Now if you come a little bit closer, look at the skin. That's an extremely thick skin. They range between one and a half centimeters up to five centimeters. And did you guys know that they can run 50 kilometers per hour? Yo guys, these people over here, they are doing revolutionary work. Are you guys aware of the fact that we're about to lose the northern white rhino? Maybe you guys remember Sudan, the last male northern white rhino which died. So there's no males anymore. This Dr. De La Rey was actually the guy who, uh, um, you put him down, right? And, and, and he was there to be able to harvest the genetic material to be able to reproduce them again. And this is what is happening here right now. There is only two northern white rhino females left on the entire planet right now. And these guys are putting everything they have, all their money, their time, their resources, uh, their knowledge, everything, all the fundamental work they are doing into reproducing this species. Now the worst part of it, it's our fault that they are dying out. It's our fault that there's only two females left because it's all about poaching. Poaching killed them and poaching is gonna kill a lot of other species as well if we don't achieve to bring animals into people's hearts and make them love and protect them. The biggest market for rhino horn is Vietnam and Southeast Asia. But all this is a global problem because if we would 
kill every single rhino now in this second and sell the horns to the market, the demand would still be over 65%. I have a huge group of white rhinos behind me. This is the largest rhino species in the entire world. They live in groups called crushes, which have up to 14 individuals and only one adult dominant male. However, usually adult males, they live solitary in the savannah out there and only the most dominant ones are able to take care of a group of cows. Uh, we started with a southern white rhino four years ago and uh, just to try and look at their reproduction organs and redu reproduction in general mm -hmm. um, you're saying that we got to dedicate it i mean we cannot google the answers exactly and uh, you got to figure it all out yourselves and wow. work through it so over the past four years we started working with a rhino doing the reproduction work and then as it went along we started looking at the the gestation period and how they look in the rhino also the ovarian quality and how to eventually get to the ovary sucking out the eggs out of that that's so rarely that there's people which put in something and don't expect something in return and this is so rare so at this point man i'm really impressed thank you so much appreciate that Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see what's next then make sure to subscribe my youtube channel right now and if you want to see more content you're so welcome to follow my other socials as well thank you so much for watching and see you guys later